Hey, what's going on everybody? Shumar from Android and this is the video review of the OnePlus One, a brand new company with a great smartphone and let's jump right into it. So first things first, this is phone you can only get if you get the invite. So that's the system that's going on and adapted by most of the companies nowadays like the Lenovo E600, 6000 and Xiaomi, Xiaomi, whatever it is, am I? I mean, these companies are adapting this system, like invite system, or re registration system. So they they are adopting this. So that's how the One Plus One you can only get if you get the invite first. And once you have that, you can buy it. Bad Boy packs. On the US, you get a three hundred to three fifty dollar phone. Three fifty dollar. That's its price point. And in India. Uh, you will get 64 GB sandstone version for the 21,000 rupees Indian rupees and recently they launched the white version that's, that's 16 gigs and you, that's around 80, 90,000 rupees so I'll prefer to go for the black one for the 64 gigs that's pretty nice deal to get three times out of the storage from the white one so there will the so will so this was the first phone that was signed by the Cyanogen mode. I mean they have the partnership with each other. And this was the first phone with out of the box Cyanogen mode 11 which was the Android 4.4.4 KitKat. And after ditching the OnePlus One, Micromax cheated the OnePlus One over the Cyanogen mode by getting their Eureka and also sue the OnePlus One in India. So we, there won't be an easy update in India for the Lollipop version so you have to flash it. So on the front, it's a 1080p Full HD display which have a 401 ppi pixel density and that's a beautiful hell of a display. Also it's Corning Goli Gorilla Grass 3, so go Corning Gorilla and it's also Corning Gorilla Glass 3 and other specs are it having Snapdragon 801 chip, quad core 2.5 GHz which is great specs at this price point because these specs like HTC One I made carrying these specs with the Adreno 330. On the RAM side it has 3 GB of RAM which is enough for playing games and doing multitasking which is great specs. Man I gotta say that's a great specs for this money that you pay. And on the storage side as you know 16 gigs and 64 gigs and no SD card slot for further expansion so choose pretty wisely and I'll suggest you to go for 64 GB as it is a heck of a deal. Now let's talk about more camera and on the camera side it have a 13 megapixel camera with the LED flash which can also record video at 4K UHD video man Ooh. and also like the HTC one I made on the front it has a 5 megapixel camera as already said it comes in two in two different colors silk white and sandstone black both having their own finish at the back and you can swap the back covers to whatever you want the white one feels more smooth and the black is more like a rock or something and that was all for the specs side now it comes as how much it really works I mean how fluent it is with the specs it works not like the specs running inside everything bumped up like a beast and working like a sh crap and it's not like that the phone packs up great specs that works great not like a Samsung device which says blah 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 this thing so much of specs octagon processor 4 GB RAM things like that and that then don't really work I mean they just not like the Samsung, like a touchways who gives crap every time you open up your wrap drawer. So the hardware works great with the software. So all this hardware is running the Cyanogen mode. As we know how much great ROM it is, the Cyanogen mode, and it works as you do expect from it. And by the mean of Cyanogen mode running on it, that means a lot of customization on it. You can customize every single thing in this phone. And also you can root it, unlock bootloader, recovery. Things are much easier than anything else in this device, in this one plus one. So here it is with the LG L90, with my recent review, so you can check it out. It's linked here, down below in the description and also annotated above. 
So you can see LGL90 and these OnePlus One size comparison side by side how much bigger it is to hold but it's pretty comfortable though and also here's the iPhone 5s which I'm using for a week now and don't love it except the touch ID feature but I still don't buy the Galaxy S6 for the fingerprint scanner it's crap so the bottom line is the phone is pretty dope but if you are thinking of buying a phone at this price and I suggest to go for the 64 GB version, not the 16 gigs. And also the specs are the beast of the phone. Don't worry, it will play any of the game. You won't Mortal Kombat 5, 4, Asphalt 8, Real Racing, every single game it will work on it. God Fire also. And that's a great phone. That's the last line I would say for this review. And that's all for today guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. And I'm like, damn! Shari put the bums on it, bums on it, fresh from it, fresh from it. Yeah. I'm predicting earthquake up in the high side. We got to go.